Hello and welcome to this iOS 7 programming tutorial. Today we are going to go over how to use table views, and specifically dynamic table views, which are just tables where the number of rows depends on our content, it's not just a static number of rows. So let's go ahead and open up Xcode for a new project, name it table view example just create it all right for the purposes of this tutorial tutorial we are going to start from scratch so delete both of these files here also the classes move them to trash now we're going to go to the object library and first of all we need a table view controller so just go ahead and drag it and now we need a couple classes one for the table view controller and one for the cells so control click new file we are going to name it console console table view controller subclass of yeah table view controller go right here and boom for the cells new file console table view cell yeah table view cell Next, create it. There we go. Alright, now we need to link them. So, we've done this a couple times, so I'm not gonna go in detail on how to do it. Say console table view controller dot there, and finally here console table view cell. Now, the way cells work is they're just basically small views. Thus, we can just drag objects to it. So go ahead, drag a couple text labels. Oop, there we go. In here, on here, another one here. Also, let's drag an image. We're going to have to. Oops, adjust it a bit. See, it's better around here. Ah, uh, that looks fine. <laughs> and remember, we are going to have to link this to some to some of the classes so go ahead go to the console table view cell dot h and we're going to create an outlet for each of them it's going to be console image no sorry Im label company label and finally console image the purpose of these table views is just going to be this is going to have a name of a new console the company that makes it and an image so we are going to need some information to display in our to display in our labels and in order to store that information we are going to use r arrays one for each data item remember that arrays are just list of sorted information so go to the console table view controller dot h and we are going to create three properties, one for each array. Property strong anatomic 
and it's rate. One for the images. for the companies and finally one for the name now that we have our arrays we need to actually implement some information into them so go to the viewcontroller.m first of all make sure you have imported the console table view cell the h file since we're going to be using the cells here and in the view the load we need to populate our arrays the way you do this is just say say console companies Microsoft one more for Sony, Nintendo, and Steam. Close brackets. This is just a standard way of creating an array of in a strings. So names is going to be equal to. Xbox One PlayStation 4 We you and for Steam Steam Machine Finally console images these are not the actual images these are just the names for the files we're going to need so it's going to be Xbox one four and steam machine alright that should work now for the images I have added a folder in the description of the video so you can just go ahead and copy it from there it I actually have to find it first. It's in to, 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 to here console images. So just select them and drag in, drag them to the supporting files folder. And you have to make sure that these names in here exactly match them. In case you use your own files. Uh, Now we need to define a couple methods to specify some properties of our cells, like how many cells there will be and how many rows, all that. So first of all let's delete all this code in here that's doing nothing. So number of sections in table view this is just going to be one. And number of rows in section. This is just going to be so names that count, which is just the number of elements we have here one, two, three, four. In this case, if we include a new one in here, this will automatically change. Now we just need to prepare ourselves to work. So we're going to use this m method called UI table view 
cell pointer table view so for run index path just press tab in there and we're going to need static and a string we're going to call, call it so I identifier which is going to be equal to the identifier of whatever cell we are using so we need to go to the storyboard in here select this go to the attributes inspector and here you see the identifier we use this for the sags in a couple tutorials ago so in this case for the cell we're just gonna say console table cell copy it make sure it actually changed there and we're just going to paste it in here next we need to create an instance of a cell so console t will be a cell cell pointer is going to be called table view EQ, just press tab a couple times here with identifier cell identifier this is what we just created and the path index path now long row just an integer well a long but very similar index index path row which is just going to return the number of the row we are actually in right now so if we're in the first row we'll, it will return 0, if we're in the second one it will return 1 and so on and finally cell name label dot text will be equal to console names row, if you're familiar with the race this is pretty this is pretty straightforward, but but basically, since this has the number of our row, let's say it's the first row, which is going to be zero. So it goes to the first element in our array here, Xbox One, and it changes the text accordingly. Pretty much the same for the company name. companies row and for the images shell dot console image dot image we can't just say that so we need a UI image um, the way you create a UI image is image named console images Row. This is just returning the text, the string we have in here, and this is just creating a UI image according to that text. So let's say this is PS4, so if it puts PS4 here, and UI image looks for a PS4, the G, the JPG in there, and if it finds it, it just creates an instance of it. And finally, we need to return a cell, so just return the cell we just changed. Little detail you should add in here. It's going to be this snippet of code, self dot table view set content inset way h inset make alright it's gonna be twenty soft table view content inset dot left soft table view content 
bottom and the right so they will view content inside right I'm going to explain this in a second so just go ahead and try this out just compile it build it and we see it works perfectly it doesn't do actually anything because we haven't coded that but it displays the image the name the company perfectly what this piece of coding here does it's actually very important is that it makes sure that the tables the cells appear 20 pixels below the date otherwise the Xbox one would appear here overlapping with the date and that looks awful so I recommend just copy this piece of code here keep it for your records because it will become handy probably in the far in the future that's going to be it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching and Hope to see you next time.